This is the 4-switch Atari 2600 that you saw in my pickup video the other night. And if you remember, it didn't have an RF cable to it. Uh, it had been cut and removed. So what I have here is an AV cable that I had planned to put into it, but it is too tall to fit inside the case. It worked in the 6-switch with the heavy 6-er board, but uh, the way the newer, <laughs> yeah, newer, boards were designed, the way they're oriented inside the case, they don't fit. So what I did here is I took some parts from, uh, well just some coaxial cable parts that I had laying around and I modified them so that you can now just use a push-on coaxial cable and we'll find out here once I get it together whether or not it's Here boring. we are. Got it put back together, although I was missing a screw. I don't know what happened to the screw. And got it all hooked up just using a regular push-on coaxial cable. And I will admit, I did switch it on a second ago, so I know what's going to happen, but... There you go. We got Donkey Kong playing. And I mean, you can tell it's through the RF cable, or in this case a coaxial cable, which is essentially the same thing. It's still an RF signal. But it is noticeably clearer than uh, with either of my other systems using the regular RF cable. And I don't have to worry about having a box on the box, yeah, a box on the box, a box on the back of the TV. And I don't have to worry about twisting this little guy on and having to switch it out when I change systems or whatever. So there you go. I guess that's something you could do if you wanted to. I've got a, another Atari 2600 that I'm gonna do an AV mod on, but I haven't gotten around to it. This was just parts that I had laying around. Figured I'd do a quick mod to this so that I could use it to, well, shoot this video and the next one.